Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. This is the love reading for July 11th and July 12th. And thank you so much for watching my content. Please like and subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. So this is gonna be for all zodiac signs. And the first card we have is the Queen of Cups. And that's for you, Aries. So the Queen of Cups is all about love, obviously. And uh, she's very, or the energy is very nurturing and embodies all of the things that we need in love. All of the things that nourish our you know, our hearts and our soul, and it helps to heal us when we're hurt or sick. Uh, so this is somebody that you're connected with, and it's really, really great energy. The only um, thing that you may want to pay attention to is because it feels so perfect that you don't disregard any red flags if you notice them. Okay, and the second card that we have is for Taurus. Taurus, this is the judgment card, and uh, I really uh, don't like to use the word rebirth. It just seems like it's used so many times. The judgment card is really about... Um, coming to the end of a cycle. You're almost at the very end of a, re of, of a cycle. And every step along the way in the this hero's journey, which is what the tarot is based on, you learn something new. And so what I want you to take away from this card is that you are nearing the end of a cycle. And you need to ask yourself, and this is, this is in uh, relation to another person. So you're in a relationship or you're looking for a relationship or you ended one. Before you reach the end of the cycle, you need to ask yourself, you know, have you done the work that needs to be done? Do you feel like you are done? Uh, are you showing up for people? Are your words matching your actions? If not, then this cycle that you have just gone through is going to repeat until you learn your lesson. That's what judgment is all about. And for Gemini, we have the Seven of Cups. So, Gemini, I know that you have trouble finding the perfect person. I have several Geminis in my life and I love their, the way that their mental ability, I mean, I cannot juggle five times at a thing like you guys can. <laughs> so I'm very envious of that. Uh, you can be a little bit idealistic in love, uh, even though you're an air sign, you kind of want to keep your options open, so to speak, and that's not a bad thing. But uh, sometimes this idealism can really kind of be to your detriment because the people that you pick may end up trying to control you or they don't give you the space you need or they don't communicate the way that you need to communicate because Gemini's, they have to have someone that communicates, that talks dirty, that does, you know... It's all about communication and meeting a definite understanding of each other's mental intelligence and capacity. But with the Seven of Cups here, it's, it's just telling you that, you know, the perfect person doesn't exist. And 
you can't blame them when your ideals about someone doesn't come to fruition. So you may have someone in your life right now. You may have dated someone. You may be looking for someone. But this card uh, is talking about how you interact with others. So, And the checklist, whether it's a mental one or one you have written down, you need to throw it out. If you really want to meet, you know, the perfect person, then try the, you know, organic method without the checklist, without the ideals, and see if that works for you. Okay, so for Cancer, you have the King of Wands. So this, this card actually kind of cracks me up because... I mean, he's pretty wild, and Cancer seems so much more nurturing and um, calm and, you know, kind of prefers to stay close to home, doesn't really want to take a lot of chances. And I know that that's not all Cancers, but, and I'm not trying to stereotype, but in contrast to this energy, there's a lot of difference. But I think maybe it's time for you to embrace this King of Wands energy and be brave in love. If you're not in a connection right now, then take a risk. Show up just as you are, the loving, nurturing, compassionate person that you are. And maybe take a drive on the wild side with someone like this. I think that would be perfect for you. And... You know, just be okay with a little uncertainty. We all have to be uncomfortable with it. And that may be a little difficult for you sometimes. So, yeah, I really love that one for you. Okay, Leo. For Leo, we have the Page of Wands. I love this card so much. I love it because... Leo has a childlike energy and they're very enthusiastic and they can make you feel like, you know, things are magical and fun and at the same time childlike and yet very grown up and responsible. Uh, so I like this because the person that either is coming into your life or maybe the person you're manifesting definitely is going to be the perfect match for you because they're going to be just like you are. And sometimes people say, well, you don't want someone just like you are. But I think in this case, it's really going to, it's really going to be fun and exciting. And, you know, you can build castles in the sky. You can wear <laughs> superhero costumes and ride the unicorn. So... I think it's great. I love this for you. Okay, so Virgo, you have the uh, Nine of Cups. So look at you, Virgo, relaxing, taking a nice bubble bath, pampering yourself. I think that's, that's really a nice energy. I think sometimes you need to, you know, step away from work and your obligations and... Even the hobbies and creative efforts that you have always seem to be some sort of work. It's like you have to be working on something, making something, being practical about something. And sometimes you just need to soak in the tub, you know. You need to just treat yourself, have some fun, be silly. And I think if you start doing this and and stop worrying so much about what other people are thinking that you're going to meet someone that really embodies this kind of fun energy and it and it's going to bring that out in you that's what I see um, I think you really need to put yourself out there and you know you have a lot of love to give Virgo has a lot of great qualities they want to be very helpful and they're hardworking and they're mentally stimulating as well. I mean, there's just, 
and yet there's a practicality there that some people need. So I think this is a great balance for you. Someone who's, you know, a little bit more carefree and, you know, maybe you being the earth sign, you can kind of, um, you know, pull them down to earth if they get, you know, a little bit too out there for you. But it just looks like a really fun connection for you. And Libra, you have the Knight of Cups. I like this card too. <laughs> I like a lot of cards in this deck. So Libra, aren't you lucky? You're going to meet uh, somebody who's very romantic and that you have a lot of fun with. You get to dress up and go out. This is like raw, raw romance time for you. Uh, I think you're going to be swept off your feet too. And uh, don't overthink it, Libra, when this person comes into your life. You know, this car in the picture, I don't know. To me, it looks like a convertible. Can't tell all the way, but I think it is. And so it kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, that saying something about, you know, take off your top. But I'm talking about the convertible. Take off the top of that convertible and enjoy the ride with this romance. Okay, Scorpio, you have the Five of Swords. So, I think that the person you're connecting with, um, they don't understand the way that you communicate. And you don't understand their way of communication. And obviously, it's causing a lot of of issues in the household and in, if there are children or a child or other people in the house, you know, they're, they're going to be disturbed by it as well. But if not, still, the communication is not working out. And if you can imagine yourself being in an argument with somebody, uh, realizing that this is what you look like, and it's really not a very pretty picture. Not that we don't have to stand stand up for ourselves. That's not what I'm saying. But, uh, you know, if your integrity is being compromised or boundaries are being, um, you know, people are uh, just not respecting your boundaries, then you need to speak up. But you don't have to be accusatory. You don't have to uh, believe that just that just because you're right, then that makes the other person wrong. So I hope this helps. I know there's every relationship has struggles, but this is the card that was picked for you, not by me. I shuffled and this is what you got. So there must be some issue somewhere. For Sagittarius, we have the Temperance card. This is a nice card for temperance because I think that it embodies the archetype so much better than a lot of the other decks because it does talk about balance and the mixing of people and the way that they love and the way that they, you know, we all have different styles and yet when we come together we have to be able to mix those in a way that it tastes good and it looks good and it feels good and I think that you're in a relationship right now that actually is where you are finding a perfect balance where you do feel like you have the right ingredients that it takes you know to make a long-term commitment maybe even have a family or maybe there is already a child in the house uh, so I do really love this because it it feels like you're in a really loving place and things are in balance and, you know, the ingredients really are perfect for this. For Capricorn, we have the King of Pentacles. I like this card for you, Capricorn, because it uh, embraces the earth sign that you are. Somebody who's, you know very um, loyal and steadfast and is really a master at your craft 
Um, and as an earth sign, you definitely embody this, this energy. Uh, but sometimes you can work a little bit too much or even your hobbies can sometimes become, you know, like a work project. So what the card is telling you is that there are people in your life that depend on you to provide and work and things like that as necessary, but they miss you. So I think it, that this is just kind of a warning that, hey, it's time to check in with people that you love and give them a little, just a little bit of the time and attention that you give to your work and to your hobbies. And I think that it will just help you immensely in your, in your relationships and your bonds with others. And I think I skipped Aquarius, so that's just how it was meant to be, I guess. So Aquarius, you have the Ace of Cups. I like this for you because I feel like somebody, you there's somebody in your life, I don't know if they're at work or what, but they want to get to know you better. You know, they want to know more about you. They want to know the things that you like to do. Um, they love the fact that you are, you know, that you fight for the things that you feel are right, but you also are kind of friends with everyone. And, uh, you know, that sounds like a stereotype, but most of the Aquarians that I know really do embody that. They're, they just, they're kind of involved in different groups and they just have tons of different friends. And uh, the person that wants to get to know you um, really likes that about you. And, and also that you have, you know, the mental ability to stimulate somebody's mind, you know, your logic. And, uh, but there's also, you know, a very adventurous part of you that a lot of people don't know about. So... When you meet this person and they want to get to know your heart, sometimes I think that it's hard for you to share it on an emotional level. But what the card is saying is when you meet the person, you know, don't go into Spock mode, you know, Mr. Spock. And uh, that doesn't mean man or woman. And, you know, don't overthink it. Just accept the cup that, that is offered and I think that you will uh, actually be glad that you did. And our last one is, last but not least, of course, is Pisces. I love the green in this card. Pisces, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So, for you, uh... You know, the, the knight and the pentacle is all about just like the stability and this long-term, um, working at something long-term, putting in the effort. Um, they don't really rush things and they don't really spin their wheels when it comes to you know, the way that they use their time. Uh, they're just a little bit more I want to say grounded, but that makes it sound like you're that you're not because but I guess what I'm trying to say is that the energy would be a really nice balance for you because you have this very um, dreamy uh, quality to you which is really good you're you're very good at imagining things and earth signs I think have a little bit more trouble with that and for you I think it's really good because with your imagination and then you're also a mutable sign so you're more flexible and being with someone who's a little bit more less flexible it might be a challenge but it might also be a really good connection for you so this may not be like your fantasy person that you're thinking of and they're not going to rush into anything but I think that really what this is telling you is that 
you want somebody who who has morals and who's loyal and you know ethics and I think that that's the person that you're going to meet and no matter what people say they you know about taste in music and all these different things that's important for compatibility but if you don't have the same kind of morals and, and ethics and, and just the way that you live your life compatibility is going to be really hard to maintain so I think this person is going to be really good for you so I hope that when they show up that you're going to be open to to at least considering it okay thank you so much